Welcome to this demonstration of SQL Business Design's vCDial integration. Uh, as current vCDial and prospective vCDial users will be aware, vCDial is open source predictive dialer software. Uh, it's extremely popular due to its configurability and its ability as a predictive dialer where predominantly vStylers face challenges uh, it comes from the actual interface both for agents and for managers as well uh, particularly from an agent perspective the user interface doesn't lend itself to user friendliness also being able to run uh, complex data capture bespoke data capture and conditional data capture can be a real challenge SQL Business Design has built a custom plugin, so this can plug into your existing vStyle solution or if you're looking for a uh, new predictive dialer solution we can actually build from scratch. When we do plug this in uh, with a little bit of configuration from our end it, it actually then inherits all of your campaign settings that you've already built so there's no need for you to reconfigure your dialer with this solution. What we're going to look at in today's demonstration is the agent interface. Same as the web access that vStyle offers, this is cloud-based access, so as long as you've got an internet connection, you can access the solution. The screen that we're looking at at the moment uh, gives multi-level user permissions. Uh, all of our dialers can be integrated with a CRM and workflow, so when agents log in, you may not want them to have access to that. Um, certainly you wouldn't want them to have access to certain reports so as you log in it just makes sure that the right person has the right permissions within the system. For purposes today we're going to log in as a user so as I log in now I can see here that I've logged in as Phil Little user this is my user ID, my user level, we can select the username and campaign very shortly but I've got a greyed out section here which prevents me from being able to access the uh, configuration area of the dialer uh, and also to uh, to manage reports if I had CRM bolted on I'd be able to manage uh, customers from this section here as well so what we're going to do today is we're going to log in as an agent and we're going to show you how the uh, interface varies from the traditional vStyle interface uh, and also show you some of the uh, additional functionalities as well so I'm using a soft phone so as I click to uh, log in it's going to ask me would I like to log in I'm going to say yes and it says when I click OK it's going to prompt a connection to the dialer so I'm going to get that initial call so I'm going to say OK and I've got the uh, dialer ring give me there that call I've just answered as we click to make available I'm going to get a status to say that I've been paused when I run that status again it's going to show me that I've been made available so as I log in now it's showing I've got a pause status but if I was to go and check my status again I'm actually ready and available for calls it's just my mobile number that's in this solution so I'm receiving a call from the dialer now to my mobile I'm going to answer that as we speak and the information is straight away popped on screen to have the conversation so I'm just going to hang up that call and we can see that this is the actual uh, front facing v style uh, solution for agents now all this information can be written straight back uh, to the database as well so all this information can be overtyped big section for notes here as you can see it's really clean and fresh we can brand this up with your brand if we need to we've got two tabs here one is contact details one is scripts so if you're running multiple agent scripts based on different campaigns uh, we can actually have it that the scripts page pops first and then you've got your quick name pane so that users are able to really quickly see who it is that they're uh, speaking to user outcome history so if we'd actually received uh, if we'd actually placed calls to this record before it'll show the actual uh, user that placed it the outcome and the date and time as well so this is a new record we haven't got that information there a uh, couple of sections here so rather than uh, having the outcomes on a separate page with vStyle they're just in a nice drop down menu they're completely customized so if you uh, have different outcomes on your current vStyle solution or just need new ones for a new predictive dialer all this can be uh, customized very easy for you uh, your common phone commands are here so you can be, make yourself unavailable, available, start recording, hang up, log out, we'll look at that as we uh, go to do those things um, some great functions that we have on here um, the first one here from the action pane is send SMS the reason we have the action pane is we don't want this screen to become cluttered because uh, it detracts from the important things so all your uh, actions can be here so if you're running a campaign where you want to be able to send an SMS after a call whether you've contacted a person or not first thing we do is say I want to send an SMS and it'll dynamically pull through the title, phone name and surname of that person um, we've only got one number in here at the moment primary number is set to my mobile which is a mobile, a mobile number um, if we had an alternative and that was the mobile in the actual SMS screen you'll have two options so I've got my mobile number and a blank record at the moment 
so we're going to select my mobile number. Now, users can free type uh, an SMS in there, but if you're worried about uh, spelling mistakes or what information is going out, we can actually lock that section and what you can rely on is the templates. Templates are really easy, customised uh, from the user set from the managers section, log in, type your template, when an agent selects it, so in this case we're going to say thanks for the time, simply dynamically pulls through title, surname, so Mr. Little, thanks for your time today, any messages, that can be a call to action like get in touch with us now, uh, anything that you need. You'll see that we've got a balance of 62 credits left and that message length is 95 characters. As soon as I press send, it's going to tell me that the SMS has been sent and you'll see now that the balance has gone down to uh, 61. That SMS has just arrived on my phone and has arrived from SQL. So you can have long codes if you want to. You can also have short codes on there, short codes uh, and no additional cost. So you can actually um, customise that to show your brand. It's a great way to build a bit of brand identity with your customers and give you some multi-channel communication as well. So we're just going to close that section out there. Give you an example now of disposition in the call. So let's just say in that case uh, we weren't able to contact the customer, so we said uh, no answer. That's basically hung up that call. Uh, I'll still be in a ready status, and all that's going to happen now is the dialer is going to ring my mobile again. As soon as I answer that call, it's then going to pop the screen. So that call's just come through on my mobile. I've answered it and pops up on the screen straight away. Again, I'm just going to hang up from my uh, mobile this time. So what I want to show you in this section is some of the complex data uh, capture that we can actually uh, achieve through this solution. Uh, again, all of this can be completely customised uh, to meet the needs of your campaign or campaigns. So here's an example, and we'll show you three. Oh, I've just been able to set an appointment date and time. So you'll see that just for the uh, data integrity, it's always going to pull through the lead ID just so that everything can be matched up for um, bespoke reporting. If you want to run ad hoc SQL queries on our system, we can do that with you as well. Um, date and time fields, everything can be customised. So in this solution, what we've said is that uh, an appointment can't be set for more than three days in advance. So if I say I want to set an appointment for tomorrow, it's going to be fine. If I say that I want to set one for next week, as soon as I try and enter that, exit out of that field, it's going to tell me that I'm not allowed to do that. So it's a great way just to control um, agent behaviour. Same with time. If I want to set an appointment at uh, 7 o'clock in the evening, I can do that, no problem. If I then want to do that for 10 o'clock, which is outside the parameter, it physically won't let me exit that uh, field until I uh, put the right information in. So we're just going to set that back to 1900 and close that. If that was it and job done, we would then select sale made or appointment set as an outcome and that would move on to the next record. Great thing here is if you are having an appointment setting campaign and you then want to be able to send out confirmation letters or confirmation emails, we would basically just look for appointment set, sale made as an outcome, push that information straight through to CRM or workflow and then we can automate things like letters being printed out to send to customers as well. So it's a great time saver, really great for productivity and actually moving your sales pipeline along a little bit as well. In this case we're going to show you a couple more examples. So uh, this is basically uh, capturing policy details. This was for a uh, current client of ours as well. We've obviously removed all the branding. So we're going to capture some policy details. It's going to ask me whether I want to uh, capture new policy details. If you'd uh, already captured some information and then the customer had to finish the call, rather than to input all that information again, it will save what's been input there. If I was to say no to this, it will just bring up the old policy details. As this is a new record, we're going to say yes, I want to capture that, and there's the all important lead ID. Any of these fields can be customised to drop downs of your choice. If you want them to be free text, they can do. We typically advise people to uh, avoid free text like the plague uh, because it's, it's quite difficult to report on. But we're going to say, in this instance, uh, this uh, policy relates to Phil Little. What type of policy is it? It's a single policy, provider's prudential status. Let's say it's going to be active. The value of it is uh, 35,000, and the uh, policy number, purely hypothetical, of course, is this. Uh, in this case, if people have um, multiple uh, values to a single question, um, rather than having uh, lots and lots and lots of fields uh, for each line of data, uh, what we do here is we would just say create next. You can see here that the lead ID still matches and um, we can fill all that information in again and you can keep going and going and going. We're just going to delete that because we don't need it. Um, this create LOA here, so if you've got uh, your own uh, CRM or workflow systems that can accept APIs, um, we can post APIs via XML, SOAP, um, any VBA, um, anything that you need to be done. 
uh, if it's a PHP packet as well so we can have fully integrated solutions so that's just an example there again if that was job done we'd exit out of it having captured those policy details and we put an outcome in there to say policy details captured uh, what we're going to show you now is uh, conditional uh, data capture this is something that uh, vstar finds uh, extremely difficult from the feedback we get uh, nigh on uh, impossible with its current solution so this is basically an income expenditure survey so we're going to say yes we want to capture a new policy detail and we're going to be asked a series of questions so do you rent or own your own property so if someone wasn't really sure what that question meant that's fairly self-explanatory we can have little tool tips if I click that here it says some reasons go here so that could be a little tool tip to the agent as to the question or why they're asking that question so in this case I'm just going to say I rent. Uh, next question is uh, do, I, uh, do you currently have a uh, mortgage? If I say no to this nothing's going to happen. If I say yes um, this has been set to capture additional information based on that yes answer so we're going to say yes and we're going to capture new details. We have a new screen uh, pop up here and you can see here that lead IDs link as they should do and we can have uh, say this is a mortgage we've left this as free text but again you can see things like who's the provider Chelsea when's it due to expire um, and you fill that information and in again and uh, similar to policy details if there's multiple mortgages say this was a landlord you just create next it will link via the lead ID and you can keep capturing information and capturing information until that call has been satisfied uh, in this case we're just going to and that there. When we've answered all these questions we then just change that to a completed status and that's so that if you need a, a data warehousing solution on the back of this we're going to look for completed statuses and that will pull that information through. As soon as that was changed to completed if you had another series of questions so if it wasn't financial services it was lifestyle information we can then pop another script to start capturing information so we can make this very intuitive to guide the agents through the questions and answers exit here and uh, once we've done all that we're then going to disposition this call so in this case we're just going to say a sale's been made it dispositions that call and would actually then move us onto uh, onto the next record as well ready to capture more information so all that's happening now is another call is coming through I've just answered that and we continue with that process effectively any bespoke requirements will live in this section here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself unavailable. I'm going to disposition that call. The dialer is then going to check to see whether anything's actually in the queue. So if there's already calls waiting, to make sure I don't drop them. So at the moment, that's great. I've got a pause status, so there shouldn't be any more calls coming through to my phone. So now that I've done that, it's safe to log out. So just make sure that we uh, manage your abandon rates properly. I'm going to hit log out. Okay, that's now disconnected me uh, from the soft phone. So I'm ready to exit back to the norm the login screen and we're done.